several of the brush tools that we can use in Photoshop have the option of applying airbrush-like buildup effects over time. If we go to the options bar and we set our flow to a low value like 30% and then click this button to the right, we can use the airbrush property. Let's see what it looks like without the airbrush. So I've got my cursor here and it's 100 pixels and if I place the stylus to the tablet and just leave it there, we only get one spot of uh, paint or ink. And similarly, if I make a brush stroke, it's more or less uniformly even, except for the edges, and that's just a feature of the brush hardness. If I turn the airbrush on, and then again I click on a point and leave it there, you can see the paint or ink builds up rapidly over time. And this also works with brush strokes. So if we want it to be even, we could move at a more even pace, or if we want buildup, we can go slower or stop at different times to do that. So I could start quickly and then slowly work my way through the other part of the uh, brush stroke, and you can see wherever you stop, it builds up. This feature is available in the brush tool and mixer brush, the clone stamp, the history and art history brushes, the dodge and burn tools, and also the eraser tool.